Now we all know what a gumdrop tree looks like. I grew up with a gumdrop tree in front of my house. Even as a five-year-old, I was embarrassed by my gumdrop tree that my mother loved and had pruned perfectly as a gumdrop. What are the colors that you're using in your palette? Just this is basically the ultramarine blue and the um, hooker's green, which I keep together because I use so much of it. I put ultramarine blue over here and you know my primary colors so that when I want to do a blue sky, I know I'm going to get blue and no green in it, which of course is on my brush. <laughs> but uh, over here I have the ultramarine blue and the green because I use so much of it together. Here's burnt sienna, which um, I combine with the blue and green a lot because the burnt sienna being on the reddish tone tones down your green so it's a more of a grayish color a little easier to take than that it's a little more um, natural looking if you add some aurelian yellow to it it you know, warms it up but still looks very natural if I do this uh, green and then put some um, gamboge in with it. You now it's you know, much, much warmer. So this is the same colors, but with, um, here's just the um, hooker's green. Here's the um, hooker's green with the blue um, ultramarine and then adding the um, aurelian, the cool yellow, and the warm yellow.